Hello ye developers, welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to do more about validators. So last time we did Ajax validation, this time I'm going to do conditional validators and some other validators that he has developed themselves, one being the example of an image validator. So the first thing is first, let's create a conditional validator. So let's assume the scenario of that we want to make the branch status required only if the branch address is not empty. So that means if this is empty, we do not want to make this required field, the branch status required field. If it is not empty, then we should make this a required field. Let's assume that is the case. For example, this can be a branch address and think of this column to be something like the postal code. Okay, so if you fill out the branch address, of course, then you should fill out the postal code. So to do this, uh, G has uh, done something called conditional uh, rules. So we are going to make the branch status uh, branch status to be required when we can pass in a function model and we'll say we'll return model let's put a if statement if the model branch address is not empty not empty then we want it to be true we want the branch status to be required if it is not the case if it is empty then we don't want it okay so let's close this out okay this will do the validation form of the backend side of it that means you have to send a request to the backend in order for this to work we can do this on the client validation as well so to do that we say when client and same as before we are going to pass in a function so this is for the javascript validation um, so let's close it out Okay, we don't want that and double quotes there. Okay. Um, so if that is so, if we are going to check, we are going to go and grab the branch address ID and get the value of it. If it is empty, then it's going to be the value of undefined is kind of come out of this. Undefined. If that is so, we are going to uh, put true, not true actually. If it is undefined, that means it is empty. So we, are going, we don't want uh, uh, we don't want the branch status to be required if it is so. Uh, next, else we'll put true. That means. The branch address has a value. Oh, sorry. So we'll put true. We'll save and we'll check. Now, if I we have error. So what is the error? Illegal token syntax error. No, we have forgotten a single collision. Create it again. Okay, now this is the branch address is blank. So what we are going to hit create and the branch data should be not required. So we're going to hit and it is not required. But let's assume that the user had added address, my address. Then we are going to hit this, which should say that branch status should be required. Branch status cannot be black. So that is conditional validators. That is from the client and from the backend, both are working. 
If you don't want client-side validation, then of course you can go and say enable Ajax well, uh, enable client-side validation to false and the client-side validation will not work. Okay, that is one validation that I want to talk to you about. There's plenty more uh, co-validators that you can use. We have Boolean compare date validators, email validators, exist validator, file validators, all that. So next I'm going to focus on uh, image validator. So I'm going to go companies which we have a form that we have created uh, with the logo. So let's assume that I want this logo, the image that has been uploaded should be 1024 pixels wide and 1024 pixels high. So that is the limit. If it is smaller than that, it's not going to work. So first, oh, one more thing about the last bit. So in the previous example, uh, I have removed the branch status and branch address from being required from this section. So uh, if you have to remove them, otherwise it's always going to be required. And uh, let's move on to our file. Okay, so what the, we what we need is we know we don't want the file validator. We want the image validator. So we'll change that to image. Next, we have properties that we can set. It's pretty simple. It says two small properties, skip on error, skip on empty, and we have the min width and the uh, min height. So we are going to use those two. You know, say min width should be 1024. It's going to take pixels. So, and the min height, you can say, is going to be 1024. Too. Yeah, simple as that. So those are image values. So we can set the height. Let's check it if it works. Let's add an image. Hopefully I can find image, pictures and uh, okay I know that this image is not 1024 or is it? Okay let's pick something else. Yeah the image is too small. The width cannot be smaller than 1024 pixels and we have a larger image which is this I guess and we add it it doesn't give a so that is image validations. That is one thing. I mean, I want you to read through the documentation. Just check for things that are there. I mean, of course, you're going to find something that the e develop, e team has developed for you to make things easier. So yeah, go through the documents if you have any questions. Uh, and if you think that this needs to happen, you go search Google and check it out. Anyways, that covers this lesson. I learned this today itself. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one and stay tuned for more tutorials coming up and do subscribe and take care guys. Have a good day.